was an easy one really. Um, my son had been on a transplant list for six months. His condition wasn't getting any better. It was getting to a, a sort of a dangerous situation. So uh, we had a, a sensible conversation and, and went from there. I can sum that up by one word, so it's terrifying. I think when you first find out the diagnosis as a family, and obviously with our son as a patient, you don't know what it is. Uh, we're grateful for things like the PSC support group because you Google it, as everybody does. You look at some of the outlooks of this and you think, it's, you, know, you see words like incurable, you see terrible prognosis. So yeah, so, so terrifying is quite, quite the word to, to look at it. And I think the most awful part, and I'm sure you heard of some other, other people in the group, is you've seen someone go from being a very healthy person to being a very, very sick person uh, very quickly. That's quite a complicated process. Um, as a parent, you would immediately say, yes, let's, let's go and do that. But it's not as simple as that. So with people with kidneys, that's fine. They got two with a liver, but he got one. So the situation had to be pretty bad for, for Sam to start with, to even have that, have that conversation. Once we had that conversation, uh, you then have to be recommended to an organization called the Human Tissue Authority, or HTA. And they really sit above all the hospitals. They have to be. They have to be at the, sort of the governance level for hospitals and be emotive about it as well. So the process is complex. I mean, I, I make no argument about that. It's, you know, they, they check in for physical defects. You're obviously not going to try and put something bad inside a, 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 another person. The most difficult but bit by part is, is a psychological thing because they're real hard questions. You know, you're going to do everything you can as a last ditch, really, for, for some, something like, like your son. And it may not work out. So the psychological bit is quite a difficult thing to do. That being said, the process is done in a very clever way, uh, in a sensible way, and at the end of it, they make a decision. You're told about it, the hospital are told about it, and then you go on to do the surgery. There's no cure at the moment for PSE. So uh, transplantation offers, offers patients hope. I mean, we, we all recognize in transplant transplantation that um, it's not gonna fix everything. That's the nature of what the condition is, like with other conditions that people are transplanted for. But it gives them a better outlook on life and, um, and hope for the future. It's very emotive to say, just do it. And it, 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 it's not, this process, as I said earlier, isn't as simple as that. So you need to get all the information. You need to have really good conversations with your surgical team or your medical team, whichever hospital you're at. If they and you, the family, think it's something achievable, worth doing, then have the conversation, get all the facts. And as I said, you have to really break away from the emotions to the reality of what this could do. Because, I mean, the person who's going to donate has put themselves at risk as well. So I think really is get all the facts. Don't say no. Don't say yes. Just get all the facts from between yourselves.